Hi friends, I am Sunil, working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to discuss control system topics. First one, Bode plot. Bode plot. This Bode plot is also called as asymptotic plot or corner plot. It is also called as asymptotic plot or corner plot. In this Bode plot, mainly two plots are there. First one is magnitude plot. Second one is phase plot. Magnitude plot and phase plot. I already did explained what is magnitude plot and what is phase plot. With phase plot, this is uh, magnitude plot, and next one it is phase plot. Okay, here uh, the magnitude plot is uh, it is a plot between magnitude vs frequency it is magnitude vs frequency and uh, phase plot is angle of g of s and h of s between frequency and some terms regarding to this uh, border plot are decayed and active decayed and active what is a decayed it is change in frequency by a factor of 10 decayed is nothing but it is change in frequency by a factor of 10 in case of active, it is change in frequency by a factor of 2. By a factor of 2. Some examples. Number of decades from 0 0.1 to 100 radian per second. The number of decades from 0 0.1 to 100 radian per second. For this, uh, log 100, log 100 minus log 0 0.1. Log 100 minus log 0 0.1. That is uh, log 100 base 10 equal nothing but 2 minus log 0 0.1 base 10 is nothing but minus 1 that is 3 decades so total number of decades from 0 0.1 to 100 radian per second are 3 decades 3 decades and number of actives from 2 to 8 radian per second number of actives from 2 to 8 radian per second for this uh, log 8 base 2 minus log 2 base 2 that is uh, log 8 base 2 means uh, 3 that means uh, 2 power cubed 2 cubed that is uh, 3 log 2 base 2 that means 3 3 minus 1 that equal to 2 actives 2 actives so number of actives from 2 to 8 radian per second are 2 actives and coming to the table for a border plot first of all here the important uh, table it is for border plot in this uh, we have uh, how we have to find out uh, corner frequencies and slopes of slope of uh, uh, border plot here first of all the term constant term if it if uh, j of s and h of s is in the form of k by s into s s, s into 1 plus st plus 1 plus st2 likewise the constant k term here uh, the numerator the constant k term for this constant k term there is no corner frequency there is no corner frequency and the slope of this uh, slope for this uh, constant is like zero that means likewise this is the slope of uh, constant so the slope is zero there is no slope and coming to the differential or integral terms differential term means differential or integral term D differential term means yes integral term means 1 by s that is uh, that's why s power plus or minus n s power plus or minus n s power plus n means differential s power minus n is nothing but 1 by s that is integral term that is integral term for this uh, differential or integral terms there is no corner frequency there is no corner frequency and uh, slope for this uh, differential term is plus or minus n into 20 db per decade 20 db per decade if uh, if s power plus or minus n in the place of n there is a one that means s power one for this s power one 1 into 20 db per decade that is 20 db per decade for uh, n power 2 for s power uh, 2 for s power 2 means 2 into 20 db per decade 2 into 2 into 20 db per decade that is 40 db per decade for s power 2 it is a 40 db per decade and real 0 or s poles real 0 or s poles that means uh, 1 plus st whole power plus or minus n 0 means 1 plus s or 1 plus st poles means 1 by 1 plus st okay for this corner frequency is 1 by t for this corner frequency is 1 by t 
and uh, for the slope is plus or minus n into 20 db for decade plus or minus n into 20 db for decade decade from omega equal to 1 by t from omega equal to 1 by t from this uh, 1 by t it is a slope is plus or minus n into 20 db per decade and for complex conjugate zeros are poles for complex conjugate zeros are poles it is in the form of 1 plus 2 zeta s by omega n plus s square by omega n square and whole power plus or minus n if it is in the form of the, the form then the corner frequency is omega n and for the slope is plus or minus n into 40 db for decade 40 db for decade from omega equal to omega n from this corner frequency from this corner frequency that is omega n this is very very important and uh, it can be easily understand uh, by using uh, some example here one example sketch the border plot for g of s and h of s equal to 10 into s plus 1 by s square into s plus 0 0.1 and s square plus s plus 10 for this first of all uh, for this first of all uh, uh, write down the table for this uh, this problem for this uh, first of all convert this g of s and h of s into standard form that is uh, 10 into s 10 into s plus 1 by s square into s plus or uh, s square into 1 plus st st1 1 plus st2 likewise uh, for converting this standard form that is uh, 10 into 1 plus s by first for this s square is s square and this is in the form of s plus 1 we have to s plus 0 0.1 we have to convert it 1 plus s into t1 1 plus s into t1 for this uh, common 0 0.1 by common 0 0.1 0 0.1 it is 1 plus s by 0 0.1 and here common 10 for common 10 1 plus s by 10 plus s square by 10 here it is a k value this is k value k value equal to 10 by 0 0.1 into 10 that is k value equal to 10 and the corner frequencies are for 1 plus s for 1 plus s here 1 plus s means 1 plus s t here in the place of t is 1 so t equal to 1 we know that omega equal to 1 by t that equal 1 radian per second and for in case of second one 1 plus s by 0 0.1 1 by s plus 0 0.1 for the in the in, the, in this uh, one what is t t is nothing but 1 plus s t that means t in the place of t 1 by 0 0.1 t equal to 1 by 0 0.1 then omega equal to 1 by t 1 by t means 0 0.1 radian per second for this last term 1 plus s by 10 plus s square by 10 uh, for this uh, corner frequency is nothing but s square by omega n square s square by omega n square in the place of omega n equal to omega n square equal to 10 so omega n equal to root 10 and corner frequency is omega n corner frequency is nothing but omega n omega n equal to root 10 you write down the table for first term 1 by s square 1 by s square for 1 by s square means corner frequency there is no corner frequency for differentiator or integrator it is an integrator there is no corner frequency and slope of the term is here it has given 1 by s power plus or minus n plus or minus n in the form of plus or minus n for the slope is plus or minus n into 20 db in the place of n there is 2 so plus or minus 2 into 20 db that is minus 40 db that is minus 40 db and the slope of this j of s h of s is minus 40 db and coming to the next term 1 by 1 plus s by 0.1 1 plus 1 uh, 1 1 plus s by 0 0.1 here what is the corner frequency for this corner frequency corner frequency for this term is 0 0.1 write down 0 0.1 and the slope of this term slope of this term is minus 20 db per decade that is 1 plus s t whole power plus or minus 1 plus or minus n it is in the form plus or minus in the place of n there is 1 so 1 into 20 db that is minus 20 db and this minus 20 db is added to the slope of g of s and h of s it is this minus 20 db is added to the previous slope of minus 40 db so that is minus 20 db minus 40 db so total is minus 60 db for the next term 1 plus s that is uh, 0 for 0 term numerator 1 plus s that is it is also called as differentiator term 1 plus st in the place of t there is 1 
and in the in case of one plus st what is the corner frequency it is one radian per second so it is one radian per second and one plus st whole power n n means here one so one into 20 db per decade that is 20 db per decade this uh, my this 20 db is added to minus 60 db minus 60 db total is minus 40 db and the next last term for this for corner frequency is omega n equal to root 10 root 10 and the for, for the slope of the term is whole power n that means n into minus 40 db here n is in the place of n there is 1 so minus 1 into minus 40 db for decade that is minus 40 db for decade and this minus 40 db is added to previous slope that is minus 40 db so total is minus 80 db minus 80 db and next one uh, Bode plot for this uh, drawing this Bode plot first of all find out magnitude of g of s and h of s magnitude of g of s and h of s for this uh, here uh, what is the uh, least common frequency it is 0 0.1 so take uh, corner frequency less than this 0 0.1 less than this 0 0.1 that is uh, nothing but uh, zero less than this 0 0.1 means so we have to take 0 0.01 so find out the uh, magnitude of g of s and h of s less than this least corner frequency that is 0 0.01 for this least corner frequency is less than this 0 0.1 means 0 0.01 for this uh, formula is mod k plus 1 by s square mod k that is uh, nothing but 20 log 20 log here k value is nothing but 10 so 20 log 10 here 1 by s square means minus 20 log this uh, s means uh, 0 0.01 for this minus 0 by minus 2 into log uh, 0 0.01 that is uh, for log 20 log 10 means 20 minus 2 into log 0 0.01 means minus 40 that equal to total is 100 db total is 100 db that means at corner frequency omega equal to 0 0.01 that is which is less than that of least corner frequency 0 0.1 the magnitude of, uh, for this plot is 100 db 100 db okay from this the uh, this 0 0.01 we have to draw the board plot for first of all uh, at uh, 0 0.1 at corner frequency 0 0.1 the slope is minus uh, here uh, for 1 by s square the slope of the db is uh, slope of j of s and h of s is minus 40 db that is 0 point at 0 0.01 there is a slope of minus 40 db okay and this from this point to this point that is from 0 0.1 from 0 0.1 the slope is minus 60 db here 0 0.1 from this 0 0.1 there is a minus 60 db and next corner frequency is 1 1 from 1 it is minus 40 db it is minus 40 db and next corner frequency is root 10 root 10 from this point the corner frequency is minus 20 db minus 80 db minus 80 db minus 40 minus 40 the total is 80 so minus 80 db in this way we can draw the bode plot in this way we can draw the blood up bode plot bode plot first of all find out the corner frequencies first of all uh, convert this equation into standard form and then find out the corner frequencies and uh, find out the corner frequencies and find uh, write down the table which is slope of the terms uh, for each term for each term and finally find out the magnitude of g of s which is less than that of uh, this corner frequency and the note down this uh, magnitude and from this magnitude uh, draw a slope minus uh, for first term minus 40 db and then again from this corner frequency 0 0.1 to draw this slope and the next corner frequency the uh, this slope and next corner frequency the corresponding slope in this way we can uh, draw the bode plot bode plot and next one minimum phase system minimum phase system what is minimum phase system it is a system in which poles and zeros will not lie in the right side of the s plane it is a it is a system in which poles and zeros will not lie in the left will not lie lie in the right side of the s plane 
right side of the s pad for this minimum phase is the limit omega tends to infinity angle of g of s and h of s equal to p minus z into minus 90 degrees for minimum phase system angle of g of s and h of s with the limits of uh, omega tends to infinity is equal to p minus z into minus 90 degrees it is very very important but in case of uh, any example g of s and h of s has given uh, like this equation k into s plus 10 and s into s plus 1 into s square plus 2s plus 2 uh, then for minimum um, for minimum phase system what is the phase angle of g of s and h of s what is the phase angle of g of s and h of s for minimum phase system omega tends to infinity angle g of s and h of s that is uh, uh, when omega tends to infinity the formula is p minus z into minus 90 degrees here uh, p minus poles poles are poles are 1 2 and here s square means 2 so total total order is uh, 4 so total poles are 4 4 minus 0 is only 0 is uh, corresponding to numerator that is only one pole s plus 10 that equal to my s equal to minus 10 only one zero only one zero that means uh, uh, number of poles are uh, de denominator order is four so poles are four and zeros order is only one so zero is one so four minus one into minus 90 degrees that is three into minus 90 that equal to minus 270 degrees in this way we can find out uh, minimum phase system the angle for minimum phase system okay Okay friends, in the next video, I will discuss uh, polar plot and Nyquist plots. Okay. Okay. Thank you.